Hi all the students. Today we are going to study wavelength division multiplexing. Again a multiplexing technique wherein what is divided? The wavelength is divided. So we saw in frequency division multiplexing the frequency was divided. That means different channels were allocated different frequencies and then it was easy to combine or multiplex them because none of them were interfering with each other. So when we talk of wavelength division multiplexing, the concept of wavelength is used here. What are we dividing? We are dividing the wavelengths. That means different channels are assigned different wavelengths and then those channels with different wavelengths can be combined or multiplexed together since they are having different wavelengths. So they would not interfere with each other. Right. So this is the concept of wavelength division multiplexing. Now, wavelength div division multiplexing is also called WDM. <coughs> so, as I said, WDM or wavelength division multiplexing is a technology which multiplexes a number of optical carrier signals. Now, what kind of signals are being multiplexed here? Basically, we multiplex or combine the optical carrier signals the signals which are transmitted through fiber optics right so it uh, multiplexes a number of optical carrier signals onto a single optical fiber so that means the signals which are coming from various optical fibers are then multiplexed and combined into a single optical fiber by using different wavelengths as i said we are using different wavelengths for different signals and then those signals which are coming from different optical fibers and since they are having different wavelengths they can be combined together and sent through a single optical fiber so what are these wavelengths these wavelengths are basically different colors of the laser light now uh, the wavelength division multiplexing is commonly applied to an optical carrier that is why we said the optical fibers so basically all the signals that are coming from the optical fibers are transmitted are combined and transmitted through a single optical fiber in case of wavelength division multiplexing so i can say that it is commonly applied to optical carriers so optical carriers are usually described by their wavelength and not frequencies that is why the term wavelength division multiplexing because optical fibers are described by their wavelength whereas the frequency division multiplexing which we studied previously it is usually applied to radio carriers which are more often described by their frequencies so basically the concept is same in case of frequency division multiplexing we are dividing the frequencies or we are basically assigning different frequencies to different channels and then when different frequencies have been assigned to them we know one would not interfere with the other so all those different frequencies from different channels are then combined together and sent through the same transmission line but that is done in case of radio carrier right because they are more frequently determined or described by their frequency but when we talk of optical carriers that means which use optical fibers <coughs> for such carriers the uh, they are usually described by their wavelengths hence the concept of multiplexing that is applied here is the free uh, wavelength division multiplexing now what is a wavelength just a quick revision though uh, we have uh, reached here and by now we all must be clear with the concept of wavelength but just a quick revision basically wavelength is the distance between the identical points now what are these identical points they can be the crests or the troughs in the adjacent cycles of a wave form signal which are basically propagated in space or along a wire so if it is a wireless transmission of course obviously those signals propagate in space and if it is a wire transmission then these waveform signals propagate through a wire or along a wire so basically the crests or troughs so the distance between adjacent crests or the distance between adjacent troughs is the wavelength right now wavelength is inversely related to frequency that means higher the frequency lower the wavelength lower the frequency higher the wavelength now what is frequency of course we all know about frequency also but just uh, a quick revision basically frequency is the number of oscillations or the number of wave cycles per second or in a unit of time so if 
I look at this diagram, if we look at this diagram, basically what is the wavelength distance between any two crests? Now these are two identical points. These two identical points are known as the crest and these two identical points are known as the trow. So the distance between any two adjacent crests or any two adjacent trows is known as the wavelength. And what is frequency? The number of oscillations. So the frequency of this signal is from this particular point to this point particular point right how many oscillations are there this is one oscillation or one cycle then if I come from this point to this point this is the second cycle right then if I come from this particular point to this particular point and if I assume that this wavelength is only up till here so from this point to this point this is your uh, one complete cycle again. So from here to here, here to here and here to here. So basically how many oscillations are there? There are three oscillations. So the frequency is three in a unit of time, right? In one unit of time, the frequency here is three. So basically the frequency is the number of uh, oscillations, right? In a unit of time or the number of occurrences of a repeating event. So this is a repeating event once, then this is a repeating event twice, and then this is a repeating event thrice. So the number of occurrences of this repeating event is 3 in a unit of time, or the number of oscillations of this waveform is 3 in a unit of time, hence the frequency here is 3. Whereas the wavelength is the distance between the any two adjacent rows or crests. Now the formula to calculate the uh, wavelength is, wavelength is equals to velocity upon the frequency or the velocity divided by the frequency. Now wavelength you know, frequency you know. What is velocity? Velocity is basically the rate, rate means in terms of time, the rate and direction of an object's movement, the rate at which is which an object is moving and the direction in which that object is moving. This is the velocity. So basically it is a two dimensional thing. Hence we can say that velocity is velocity is vector. Whereas if I talk of speed, speed is the time rate. That means the rate in a unit of time at which an object is moving along a path. So here we are considering only the rate. So it is a one dimensional thing. Hence we can say that speed is a scalar value. So basically talking of velocity, velocity is the rate and direction of an object's movement. And the wavelength is equal to velocity divided by the frequency, right? So uh, basically coming back to wa uh, wavelength division multiplexing, as I said, wavelength division multiplexing is used for optical carrier signals, right? So basically for the fiber optic channels, the wavelength division multiplexing is used, right? Because all the optical carriers are described in terms of their wavelength. So let us assume there are different fiber <coughs> optic channels, like this is fiber 1, fiber 2, fiber 3 and fiber right so uh, it has basically signals having different wavelengths the wavelength of fiber 1 is different the signal of the uh, wavelength of the signal of fiber 2 is different the signal of the wa uh, the wavelength of the signal of fiber 3 is different and the wavelength of the signal of fiber 4 is different so all the four fibers have signals with different wavelengths. Now since they are signals with different wavelengths, so here we can combine them like this or multiplex like this and transmit them through a single fiber optics, right? Instead of transmitting them through four different fiber optics, which are fiber one, fiber two, fiber three, and fiber four, all of them can be combined together since they are having different wavelengths and then they can be transmitted, multiplexed, and then transmitted using the same fiber optics, right? So when they are uh, uh, combined or multiplexed from different frequencies, uh, from different sources, like the uh, fiber one is one source, fiber two is another source, fiber three, fiber four. So four signals from four different uh, sources and all the four signals, of course, having four different wavelengths, which is noted here as lambda one, lambda two, lambda three, and lambda four. So they are combined by a combiner, right? So this combiner is basically a 
कंबाइनर इज डूइंग द टास्क ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग और कंबाइनिंग ऑल दो सिग्नल्स सो ऑल दीज सिग्नल्स आर कंबाइंड लाइक दिस एंड देन ट्रांसमिटेड अलॉन्ग अ सिंगल लॉन्ग हॉल शेयर्ड फाइबर राइट सो दिस इज अ सिंगल फाइबर ऑप्टिक्स then at the receiving end there is a splitter which is doing the task of splitting these um, signals again so all these combined signals are uh, received at the end splitter and then they are splitted or separated again using filters so a signal with a uh, wavelength lambda 1 with wavelength lambda 2 wavelength lambda 3 and wavelength lambda 4 are again separated at the Uh, other end right so this is the basic concept of wavelength division multiplexing so as you saw here that four fibers were coming together at an optical combiner right so this is the optical combiner that we are talking about this is the optical combiner so all the four signals from four different fibers were coming together at the optical combiner and then each was present with uh, with its energy at different wavelengths of course all those signals coming from different sources or from different fibers had different wavelengths that is why they were multiplexed together now these four beams are combined onto a single shared fiber a single transmission channel so this is the single shared fiber that we are talking about so these all four beams combined together are transmitted through this single shared fiber and and uh, for transmission to a distant destination of course which are to a destination which is far away so at the other end or at the far end this beam is again split up over as many fibers as there were on the input side so if there were four fibers on the input side and there were four separate beams from four separate fibers so at the receiving end also the, these beams are again split up into as many fibers as they were on the input side so if on the input side there were four beams from four fibers so again at the receiving end they will be split into four different beams right so each output fiber contains a short specially constructed core so every output fiber that is present at the receiving end it consists of short and specially constructed core that is doing the task of filtering out all but one wavelength that means it filters out all the wavelengths which are not required and keeps the only one so this filter will filter out uh, the so this uh, these are the fiber optics and each fiber optic is having a filter at the receiving end so because of this filter the required wavelength signal with the required wavelength will be kept and rest all will be filtered like this filter will keep the signal with wavelength lambda 1 and uh, lambda 2 lambda 3 and lambda 4 will be filtered similarly this particular filter will keep the signal with wavelength lambda 2 and lambda 1 lambda 3 and lambda 4 will be filtered out similarly this particular filter in this fiber optic will filter out lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 4 and keep only lambda 3 and then this filter at this particular fiber will filter out lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 and keep only lambda 4 that means the voice signal with the wavelength lambda 4 so this is what it is saying that uh, each output fiber contains a short specially constructed core which is basically filtering out all other wavelengths but keeps the only one which it requires so the resulting signals can be routed to their destination so then at the destination these different signals with different wavelengths can be transmitted to the destination or they can also be recombined again in different ways for additional multiplexing right so these optical signals are basically from different sources as we have seen and then they are combined by a multiplexer so this multiplexer is what you called your optical combiner so this is the optical combiner that we call the multiplexer right and which is essentially an optical combiner so they are combined because their wavelengths are different the concept whole concept is based on different wavelengths they can be combined only when the signals have different wavelengths so that it is ensured that none of the signal interferes with the other one so obviously they are combined because their wavelengths are 
different and the combined signal is then transmitted via a single shared optical fiber strand right so these different signals are from different fiber optics but then when they are combined together or when they are multiplexed they are transmitted via single optical fiber strand and then as we saw that at the receiving end a demultiplexer it splits those incoming beams into its components and then each of the beam is sent to the corresponding receiver to whosoever it was meant for so this is all about wavelength division multiplexing